Join me as I take on the challenge of fixing a faulty motherboard I bought on eBay. Will I be able to bring it back to life or will it be a total fail? Let's find out. So I bought this supposedly faulty Asus Tough B550 Plus motherboard. It powers on but won't boot up. The seller couldn't test it. The last buyer gave up. So today I'm going to see if I can bring it back to life. Here's what the seller said. Taken from a working PC, previously sold with no issues, but the new buyer said the PC wouldn't turn on from the case power switch. No bent pins, no visible damage, power was reaching the board but no response. The seller couldn't retest it, so it was sold again. This time, to me, for parts. First things first, a visual inspection. I'm looking for bent pins, bulging capacitors, burns, basically anything obvious. And as you can see, everything looks clean. Socket pins are intact, no corrosion, no damage. Good start. As you can see from the video, it was now time to test the motherboard outside of a case because it's easier. So this was simply uh, powering it up using a just a CPU, so the Ryzen 7 5700G, and a stick of RAM and a power supply that I knew worked. As you can see, I was using a screwdriver to jump the pins directly, bypassing the need to use the case switch. So what you can also see from that video is that it was a success. The fan spun up, the LEDs lit up. However, what you couldn't see due to a filming faux pas, massive apologies for that, was that if I grab the board, um, there's, there are some LED lights just here. And what I had was an orange light light up on the RAM section. So what I did was, obviously I immediately knew that that was an issue because I wasn't seeing anything on the screen. So to begin with, I switched out the RAM. I knew that that RAM was good because it was brand new, but I thought could be a problem with the RAM. So I pulled out the RAM, stuck another one in and there was no dice, um, nothing happened. So after that, I actually decided to take a punt that actually it was the BIOS that was the issue. So I jumped on Acer support and downloaded the latest BIOS. I then extracted it and most importantly, I renamed the BIOS file using the BIOS renamer. And because this board has easy flash, I plugged in the USB, pressed the button and it updated the BIOS and success, it worked. And what you can see here is me using a universal um, ATX PC power switch to test that the power switch was working and it did. So success, I fixed the board.